Good morning everyone, in this video I will do a step by step tutorial on how to install RLVR on, on Linux. This is a pretty long video just because there is a lot of steps and it took me basically two days to figure out how to make everything work. So this is why I'm doing this video. Here you can see that I am on the MetaQuest uh, website. So this step is only uh, done for uh, the Quest users. But I mean, if you are trying to use this uh, program, it's probably because you are using a, a Quest uh, headset. So, the first thing you will need to do is go to the developer.oculus.com and uh, register your account. You will need to factor authentication and when you are done, you will need to create a, a, uh, an organization. So, you will need to enter a name. Uh, just so you know, it needs to be um, uh, unique from every other one so me I have already created one really stupid name but we don't care and once it's done it's basically already over so for the second part you will need to take your phone and you will need to install the oculus um, application so this can be done on uh, Android or uh, iPhone it really doesn't matter so here you can see that I have uh, my phone uh, casted and uh, Right now my meta quest 2 is connected for it to be connected you and uh, the headset and the phone Needs to be in the same uh, Wi-Fi uh, network so if you go here uh, so Right now, I am putting my headset up, and everything is connected. This is perfect. So, what I will need to do on the app is to go to the menu, go to the devices right here. MetaQuest 2, it is connected. If it isn't, you can need to cl click on uh, associate a new device. Let me, it's already done, so I just need to click right here. And here you have two options, S uh, but the one that we need right now is all the down here, so parameters of the headset, developer mode right here, and you need to turn it on. It's really important. Once it's done, you uh, can close the app, but I will not personally because I will show you how to um, do things because yes there are things to do in uh, the um, headset itself so once it's done you can connect via usb your uh, headset to your computer so once it is done you will need you will need to put on the headset and allow um, new devices Oop, and yes so here it's loading okay perfect so I will close that and you will probably see right here an option saying allow uh, for USB uh, tr data transfer uh, for way better simplicity you will need to um, accept it forever uh, forever for this computer specifically so now that the setup part is done we can actually start as uh, the, um, the other part of the install so right here you will need uh, to go to the github page so rvr to the release page and we will need to install both the Alvia client Android and the Alvia streamer uh, Windows for Linux. So once both of them are downloaded, oops, so here we are. We will need first of all 
the Alvia client for Android. So you will need to open a terminal in the file that hosts uh, the, um, uh, the APK. So as you can see that it is currently right here. And you can shut down this. And we will need to run the command. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, here sudo adb install and alvia client android.apk so you will need to have the adb package installed if you do not uh, let me just do that you can just do sudo apt install adb and for me it was already installed so it doesn't matter so once you run that, oop, and I need to reinstall the password, it will say daemon not running, it's now starting, performing streamed installed, and success. So once this is done, you can close it, and I will now go back right here into the headset that is currently streaming okay so sorry for the low quality it's just that streaming is already always a pain uh, so you will now need to launch the application of ALVR that is now installed on the headset so you will need to go to the oop, uh, to the uh, application uh, file and you will see for you this so this is all the applications that are installed or not even installed we uh, here search for specifically ILVR but it is not here you need to select right here all the files and go down to the unknown sources you just need to click that and you will see ALVR uh, and you can just launch it and you will see this ALVR host name IP address. This is perfect. So we currently do not need anything on um, the VR headset. So once this is done, you will then need to install the ALVR streamer Linux. So once this is done, it will come in a dot um, in a compressed file. So at tor.g and you will need to install it in the home folder so to do that you just need to open it extract and just select the home folder personally it's already done so i do not care so once this is done you can just go to the home folder lvr as a bin and right here you will have lvr dash dashboard you can double click it and for me, it's currently launching the RVR dashboard. If it is not, it could be in the pro uh, uh, propriety where it's not allowed to execute. So I will now remove that. And you will see that for me, everything is launching. But it could maybe not. So we will now look at dependencies that could be a problem. So you see here that and uh, to install everything you will need all of these packets so to check if you have these packets you can just type them in uh, the uh, command line so w get you see that for me it's doing something curl it's doing something uh, for me i am under um, x11 so i need to do x host yes it's doing uh, pipe wire lots of errors but we don't really care and since i have a um, uh, nvidia gpu i can use cuda because it's always better so to check if you have cuda you can open the um, pocket manager and just type cuda 
it's loading and personally I have the NVIDIA CUDA tool kit. You will need to check your um, references to see if everything is good for you. So, once everything is done, I will now relaunch the, the stream, perfect, and I will click launch Steam VR. Oop, it's currently launching. Oop, we do not care. It's doing its things. Perfect, and now it's searching. Well, I have a lot of pop up, but we do not care. So now we will need to add a new client. So uh, if it is not detected, for me it is not, um, but it could be automatically detected. Mm, you know what? Let me just put on the headset, just see if it's detected. Nope, it's not. Uh, so you need to um, click on add a client manually. So here you will see lots of things. So if you put on the headset, it will say a code on the host name page. Oop. So for me, it is currently saying 7121.client. So all the .lvr, we can remove it. And, so for, and for the IP address, this is the local IP address of the headset. It is also said in uh, the headset. So for me, it's 1.58. Save. And it's starting. Connected, streaming. And it's currently starting. And you can f see if everything works on... Uh, display VR view so you can see that it is currently working but I have a problem dropping video packet reason can't push to network this is a really annoying thing to do because um, because you would need uh, basically it's a problem with uh, how um, your network is configured. If your network is uh, configured really well with like a current access point and something like that, it will work really well. But uh, even myself that have a pretty good network, uh, it just doesn't work over Wi-Fi. So if you want to uh, try to have uh, things work way better, you can reduce the quality to very low and you can uh, drop the refresh rate to 60 hertz and if you go down uh, you could see uh, where is it um, here uh, stream protocol it is automatically automatically selected to UDP but I personally chose uh, TCP since it's way more stable. The problem is that even for me, I, yeah, <laughs> you see exactly that. Uh, the latency is terrible, <laughs> and it's basically impossible to have everything working. So I will personally choose to str to have everything over cable. So I will need to remove this. And we will use an other uh, package from LVR that is uh, uh, that is ADB forwarder. Basically, this will allow you to use um, uh, a cable to pass through information instead of Wi-Fi. So, if you go right here, you can go to the install page and to download the ADB forwarder dash Linux and you will see it right here so you just need to extract it and you will be right here so lots of files you need to open a terminal and do um, I 
don't exactly remember what it is. sudo dot adb forwarder just put in the password and connected device this means that it was connected through uh, the um, cable and detected and everything is working so this is perfect so you can just uh, put that in the back avoid closing it it would be uh, better Oops. and now you can add a new client so same as before, seven one, up seven, one twenty one dot, and for the new IP address, we will remove that entirely, and do the local IP address. So, uh, one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one, and save. And it's connecting. Up. currently loading and perfect so now if I just do uh, display VR oop, right here you can see that it's way more fluid and stable even for myself everything since everything is going through the cable it's way better at doing everything so I will now go through some minor problems that can happen um, so first of all a small thing I didn't do uh, was since it was already installed for me was a setup wizard honestly uh, it's pretty um, pretty simple you just need to uh, click on that to set up uh, pipe wire for the audio you basically don't need to do anything so that's why I didn't thought of doing it so you can see here all of the information and everything is basically just working instantly compared to last time so if you have some problems uh, you can oh also something really important uh, I think it's said um, right here uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, it's not said, but you should use um, you should use TCP if you try to use a cable. It's way better, way more stable. Uh, other things that are better, prefer connect if you have uh, a good enough um, a graphics card. You would probably need to put uh, H.264. Uh, for the game audio and the microphone, put pipe wire. This will pass through the um, microphone and the uh, speakers of the headset itself into the uh, computer. So it's way better. And for the quality, it will honestly depend a lot of uh, the um, of your computer. But personally, I put medium 90 hertz. Uh, the better, uh, the more hertz, uh, the better. Uh, it's always better to choose hertz over um, quality because uh, of uh, because uh, the more fluid it is, the less uh, headset uh, VR sick you will be. And honestly, this should be enough. Oop. Right now, it's disconnecting because um, the VR uh, headset is putting itself to sleep all the time. But just putting it back in will make everything able to work so right here I have oops oh wait you can't see uh, two seconds um, right here so for example right here I have one of my um, controller it's working perfectly and I have basically no problem it's really fluid everything works and that's basically it